Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Joe and today I'm going to talk about how I built my homemade chicken brooder as well as some small improvements and additions that I made to the brooder that make it really kid friendly but also really easy to clean and maintain. But before we get started, if you're not already a subscriber, if you could go ahead and click subscribe in the bottom right hand corner, really appreciate it as it helps me out a ton. Okay, let's get right into it. So I'm going to start off by apologizing that I don't have video footage of the actual box construction just because I was in a real hurry to get this, this put together. But I do have a bunch of still photos at various stages of, of completion. I built the frame of the brooder using 2x2 two two stock, which was just ripped down 2x4s that I recycled from another project. Um, and that's a theme for, for this brooder. Everything that I've used to build this, with the exception of the hardware cloth, was recycled from, from other projects, or in the case of the plywood, was leftover scraps. So I had no cost into this project with the exception of the hardware cloth and some paint. The dimensions of the brooder are 24 inches high as far as the height of the box itself, um, 33 inches in height from the ground, 24 inches deep, and 36 inches wide. And this really seemed to be the perfect size for the eight chickens that I currently have in it. With the frame built, I sheathed the entire brooder with quarter inch plywood. And yes, quarter inch plywood is more than strong enough even for the bottom with, with tiny chickens. Um, the, it, you do not need half inch or, or three quarter inch plywood for this project. Um, it's also hard to tell, but there is one more support piece of two by two stock running right across the, the middle of the front um, where the two doors open across the front. And as far as the doors go, the, these were really completely unnecessary because the entire top of the brooder opens and most brooders you'll see will just have the top hinge open so that you have access to clean and to, to get the chickens. Um, the main reason why I, why I put the doors on the front is so that my two small children could have access to the chickens um, so that they, they could pick them up, they could feed them, they could change their water and, and have a good time with them as well. And I have to say, the, these worked out great. They were exactly the right height, and both my kids were able to, to reach right in and, and pick up the chickens and, and interact with them. And for the top, the top is just held on with some barrel hinges. And you can see here on the right that I added this little, um, uh, little stand prop stick um, to hold the top open so that as I'm cleaning or feeding the chickens, I don't have to worry about either holding the top open or swinging it back up against the wall. And With the brooder box basically complete, I decided to start working on a way to hold the heat lamp for the chickens uh, over the box itself. So I, I really had two requirements for this. One, I wanted to make sure that it was really safe and that there was absolutely no risk of the heat lamp uh, falling into the brooder, um, specifically into the bedding. To, to kind of mitigate any fire risk, but also I wanted it to kind of look look cool sitting on, on top of the box. I didn't want it to look like an afterthought. So I came up with this kind of gantry style mechanism uh, where it would sit over the top of one side of the lid and suspend the heat lamp directly over the middle. And here I'm just sanding down all the pieces for the gantry for the heat lamp just so there's no sharp edges for my kids or, or anything like that. Also for the, the feet that we're going to hold it to the box, I wanted to give them a bit of an angle to make them look a little, little bit nicer. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to glue everything up together uh, as well as shoot a few um, 16 gauge um, um, brad nails to hold everything together. Thank you. 
And here I'm just pre-drilling and countersinking a few holes so that I can attach this to the top of the brooder. Um, these feet were relatively thin at just about an inch, so I didn't want to risk splitting anything. And at this point I noticed that the, the frame did rack side to side um, pretty severely. So I decided that I'd cut up a couple of angled supports to put on either corner to stop it from racking. And to finish it off, I just applied one quick coat of boiled linseed oil. So that brings us to the end of the build for the brooder, but there were a couple of other things I wanted to mention. So the first one is, is the entire inside of the brooder has a couple coats of uh, water-based polyurethane on it, and that's made it really, really easy to clean. Um, the few times I've already had to clean out the box, everything has simply wiped right up. Um, there's no water damage or spots or anything like that. So I think the, the polyurethane is going to last, um, last really well and is making it really easy to clean up so far. Uh, the other thing is, is the, the chicks really like to make a mess with their, their food and water. So you can see here I suspended the food um, from the, the brace on the, the top door. Um, I wasn't able to do that right away when they were when they were really small the, the food had to stay um, down down on the floor but after about uh, I wouldn't say any more than six days I was able to suspend the food um, and I just I suspended it using copper wire which allows me to kind of adjust the height of it so I've slowly been raising it is is the chicks have been getting getting bigger um, the other thing that I've done to keep the water as clean as possible is I simply put the water up on an elevated uh, wooden platform. I didn't want to suspend the water only because I I noticed how the the chicks were were jumping and, and swinging on the food, and I was worried that um, that that would be far messier. The the water would be splattering, um, the bedding would get moist, and it it would just make a a mess and and smell. And the last thing I wanted to mention is. At about a week and a half, I noticed that the chickens really, really started to uh, want want to roost. So I built them this little roost, and as you can see here, they, they, they really love it. Pretty much every one of them can, can jump on here. Um, it's big enough for all eight of them to fit on here at once. Uh, here, you know, there's five on right here, not a problem. Um, and uh, they, they just really seem to enjoy it. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing if you haven't already and checking out some of my other videos as well. Thank you.